Okay, so here are the information on midterm exam. The exam will cover chapter 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So basically, homework 1. And these chapters are about the market equilibrium, supply and demand, and its applications. The time of the exam will be on October 7th. The exact time would be 11.30 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. And you need to lock your Zoom 10 minutes before the official starting time, that is at 12.20 a.m. And I will post exam at 11.25 a.m. That is... And there will be versions. And these versions will depend on your university student number. So if your student number ends with 123, you should use version A. And if your number ends with 456, then you should use version B. And if your number ends with 7890, then you should use version C. This is important. Don't use the incorrect version. And it's an open book take home exam. Open book means you can use all class materials, including lecture notes, textbook, homework assignment, and your own notes or formula sheet. So yes, you can make your own formula sheet. Right? However, you should not Google the exam problem and copy answers from the internet. And you can use any calculators you like. And the weight of the multiple choice problems is about 30% to 50%. The other part will be about um, answering short answers. And I will use Zoom to practice. And you should read the course outline to learn how Zoom proctoring works. And if you have questions during the exam, you can use the Zoom help function, or you could ask me by my email, and you can expect instant reply. Again, please use the actual email. Don't use Nexus email. And after you finish your exam, you need to scan the, an the answers and upload your answers to the Nexus. And importantly, please just, up, up, just upload one PDF file, which includes all your pages. And make sure you include all your pages, right? Because if you have missing pages, then you will lose a lot of points. And in this middle term, you will have 15 minutes to upload your exam, which means the official exam ends at 12.45 p.m. So now you have 15 minutes, which means the timestamp of your uploaded file should not be later than 1 p.m. That is, you have to finish uploading your exam answers before 1 p.m. And you will lose 1% for each one minute of delay. And again, just like homework one, you need to combine all scanned pages into a correctly ordered single file. And in the file name, make sure you include your last name and your student number. Okay. Um, I also want to mention that do not cheat. So I was on the committee on dealing with cheating in the last semester. Generally, the department, generally the process works like this. The instructor will report you to the department and the department will recommend the, the penalty. And the department will then send 
its recommendation to the university, and the university will、um, give us will give you its final decision. And generally, the punishment from the university is much more severe than what you would received from the department. So last semester, I see a lot of people got zero in their final exam because of cheating, right? So don't cheat. And I also wanted to talk about Zoom proctoring. Um. So about one hour or thirty minutes before the exam starts, I will post the Zoom link. And please join the Zoom meeting ten minutes before our official exam time. And you should use your actual full name as your Zoom handle. And make sure you have a webcam, and this webcam to can provide a clear view of you and your work area. And if you don't have a webcam, you can sure use Zoom on your cell phone. And remember to have your university ID because during the exam we will have to check your ID. And if you don't have a university ID, then you can use your driver's license. And during the Zoom exam, when you first join the Zoom meeting, you will have to stay in the waiting room, and I will admit you into the main room. And after that. All of you will be partitioned into different breakout rooms, and each breakout room will have one proctor, and this proctor will be in charge of proctoring the exam and checking your ID. So during the Zoom meeting, you will see three rooms: first, waiting room, then main room, and finally, breakout room. As I said, if you have a question during the exam, you can use ask for help, or you could email me, and you can always expect instant reply. And you can continue to write after the official exam time, as long as you can make sure you can finish uploading the file on time. In our exam,、um, the time. So in our exam, the middle term ends at twelve forty-five. So basically, you can write after twelve forty-five. However, you have to make sure you can finish uploading your file before one p.m. And again, you will lose one. You will lose one percent per one minute delay if you're late. Um, if you have any problems uploading your exam, let me know. Personally, I think you should not have any problems in uploading your exam because you will practice how to upload your exam when submitting your homework. So it's a、uh, opportunity for you to understand the process when you're submitting your first homework. And if you are disconnected for any reason, please reconnect. Um, ASAP. And if you still have problem in connection, you have to immediately let me know. So email me at my email address. And if you finish the exam early, you can leave the exam after uploading the file. You don't need my confirmation, and you also don't need the confirmation from your proctor. 